All right, today I'm trying to set the uh, this for uh, our sky screen up uh, just to see if I can use it since I haven't been able to use it. Um, I'm gonna start with eight plays. I don't think it really matters. The voltage ratio, I'm not sure what um, that's supposed to be, or it doesn't really say anything on the manual. Um, anyways, I got a number six for a three cell from a video online so let me show you what I get when I keep that there I know there this number is supposed to be some other funky number this is just the alarm um, so I'm only playing with A1 okay data so I got nothing there yet so let me go ahead and plug this in I'm not sure if it actually reads the uh, battery or just the back uh, voltage but I found two interesting things so right now even though the video said 3 cell I'm getting 7.4 volts but if I actually measure the voltage on the back you'll see that it's not even the right voltage so very carefully I'm gonna go in here I took the props off as you know don't want to hurt myself or yourself so don't leave the props on um, so let's see here negative on the left positive on the right so I'm gonna go ahead and measure the, where my back is uh, plugged in and you'll see the voltage right there just very carefully then uh, I'm getting 5.22 volts for the back by itself and you can see here 7.4 but if I um, go back Oh, I should check something else before I do that. Um, I'm going to check the voltage on the battery itself. So, you can see what we got. My battery is fully charged. Well, right now I had it on for a little bit. So I'm getting 12.36. 12 volts, 0.3. Now, the interesting thing I found out was, if I go into the data, whoops, uh, wrong one, let's go back into the menu, and I did this just by playing around with the numbers, so since I'm only dealing with uh, A1, number one, not two, I just put zero, even though they both have zero four, if I click this up to 10. Remember, I'm not changing any other numbers for the alarm I'm down here. I say okay since I'm doing A1. Um, menu. Whoops. Okay. Come on. Okay, we want data. Now I get 12.3 volts. I know it's a ratio thing, but it's just a number I use, and as you can see, 12.3. And I go ahead and measure this, and I get, oh, where are we? Positive, negative, 12.3. Actually, I was getting uh, one volt higher on the quad versus 12.3 here. So I was getting 12.4, but the battery's gone low. So now I'm actually getting the 12.3 uh, voltage, which is for the battery. I don't know if that will work, but uh, as you can see, that gives me 12.35. So I don't know if that's a way to get an actual voltage, but uh, I guess for the alarms, um, you can go ahead and change the other numbers. Fortunately, there's no way to go back on this thing. 
aside from turning it on and off. This is just something I found out. So I guess if you want the alarms to go on uh, the uh, audio, audio, audible, there. Yeah. Sorry about that. The alarm you can hear, you can choose one, two, or three, and then set this number. Uh, if you look on YouTube, you'll get a bunch of uh, different numbers. So I don't know if this have to be working together or not. It doesn't look like it. As you can see from 10 voltage ratio here, I just pick random numbers to until I start getting an actual measurement from the uh, a matching number from my multimeter on here. So that's how I did it. Now, um, anyways, that's that. So let me go to the data. So I got zero zero since I'm not using that. I don't have any other um, sensors. But 12.3. Um, of course, I'll be checking this later as I fly and see if that actually works because I see you know, random numbers and different figures and stuff. And I figured, well, that just too confusing. So I finally came here and measured it. So I'm measuring the 12.34 voltage directly of the battery on the quad. And 12.3 there. So I guess that's just for the voltage. The other uh, thing I have here, or piece of hardware, was I also bought the uh, this battery sensor, which I thought I needed. I don't know how. Maybe it's for a different battery, since I got two uh, inputs here. I left the uh, basically the uh, jumper in here. Finally went into the manual, and I had this plugged in here on the second one. But uh, the manual says not to put a battery on here, so I unplugged it and I haven't done anything with it. Um, some people say you just need the uh, positive on there. But I, I'm assuming it's for a second battery. I really have no idea. Um, or what other sensor I can plug in there at the moment. So I'm not using that since it looks like I can get the uh, internal um, voltage from here, which is kind of cool. Um, I guess I'll go play with the uh, alarms later, trying to figure out that number, but I wanted to make the video because it's something that's been bugging me and I wanted to see if I could get some use out of this thing, um, at least for the voltage. I mean, I have the uh, LiPo alarms are on this, so I don't fly too far, but um, I have those on usually, so I can hear it. But um, I want to start using the uh, the, uh, the information on the screen here. And um, although the receiver does say RSSI on here, I guess that's only for CPPM. As you can see, I have RSSI here, TX RSSI here. So I'm assuming this system automatically um, uh, shows you that. So. There you have it. Um, I'll give it a try and I'll ask some more questions. See if I can get this right or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know.